On day one, I spawned in as a baby diamond lion. I was inside my lion kingdom with all my fellow lions roaming around staring at me. The diamond lion is finally here. Ready to redeem us. Redeem? What do you mean? Just then, bombs started to go off all throughout our home. My people started to panic, and some even died. No! What's happening? In one large blast, a group of nasty-looking swamp creatures entered our kingdom. For years, our people have been forced to live in the deadly cursed swamps, treated like nothing. This changes now. In the name of Argo! What? Argo's men started to run through and attack my people. They tried to fight back, but they were not strong enough. Leave my people alone! I looked off at the far end of the battlefield, only to see their main leader fighting with my king. Oh no, I have to help! On day two, I ran throughout the battlefield until finally reaching another area. I watched as my king fought the large beast, doing everything he could to defend us. You have had this coming for too long. Soon your entire empire will burn to the ground and mine will rise over it. With one final hit, my king was gravely injured. Ah! No! Now you can watch your entire empire crumble before you, just like I did. Argo walked away, leaving my king to die. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Our sacred diamond lion. I was afraid this day would come. It is up to you, boy, to grow up and be the strongest among us. You must save our kingdom. Up to me? But how? The lion didn't answer and threw me over a diamond artifact. <coughs> I don't have time. Use your instincts. Follow the artifact. Then all your questions will be answered. I believe in you. The king lion died. Oh my goodness. I can't let him down. On day three, I listened to my king and left to follow the item. I was trying to leave the immediate area, but there were countless swamp goblins walking around everywhere. Search for any remaining lions. Put them in cells. There's no way I'm going to make it out of here. They're all on guard. Just then, a feeling rose within my body, allowing me to see nearby people through blocks. Whoa, I have diamond powers? I use my newfound ability, carefully walking throughout the battlefield and avoid their detection. I thought I was home free, but then a goblin came out of nowhere and spotted me. Aha! Stupid arrogant lion. You shall join the others in your nil prison. He rushed in and began to attack. He had very deadly weaponry and I knew that I had to run. Oh no, you don't. After him. On day four, I was running through the forest as fast as I could. They could be right behind me. Just then, something began to happen to the artifact, causing a burst of light to shine through the jungle. Whoa! I followed the lighting path until finally I reached a large aged over temple entrance. He went this way! Oh no! I rushed in, only to reveal an abandoned savanna ruins. Why was I sent here? Here. There you are! You thought you could escape us? Wait, please! The goblins all rushed in, but were quickly stopped when a loud noise began to surround the area. Rocks then began to move behind me? What is that? <laughs> On day five, the giant deadly golem began to attack all of us. He slammed his giant fists on the ground, and I did my best to try to avoid him. The goblins, though, began to fight back, hitting him with their swords and axes. But unfortunately for them, they were all wiped out in one fell swoop. Whoa. Yeah, the diamond lion. Wait, uh, you know who I am? Yes, I do. It seems as if the day has finally arrived. Argos' takeover has begun. Who is he? His people have been doing everything they can to kill me. The goblins used to live in peace with everyone. But your king hurt Argo and changed him forever. But what happened, I don't know. 
Well, I need to stop them. They are hurting my people. Agreed. If Argos's plan succeeds, all hope will be lost. My name is Gaul. As a golem, it is my sole purpose to keep balance in the land. Nice to meet you, Gore. I'm Bozo. Build up a safe den, Then I shall grant you great power. On day six, Gore tasked me to build up my very own lion den. I went to work by getting myself enough materials to make a set of stone tools. Perfect. I then used them to build up a home within the Savannah ruins. It's not much yet, but it's a start. Excellent. Now I shall grant you this. He then charged up and shot a very powerful blue beam in front of me. Ah! From his blast, summoned an ancient diamond rune stone. Whoa! Out of pure instinct, I went up and touched it, causing my body to change. I grew larger in size, gained five more hearts, and now had an amazing diamond roar ability. This caused shards of diamond to shoot out of my mouth. Awesome! But because of this, something strange happened, and my vision went blurry. Ah! Where am I? I looked forward and saw a village full of the goblins, but they all looked so happy and peaceful. And is that? Correct. That is Argo, or at least it was. I watched as Argo was filled with excitement, running through his village's streets. He was very optimistic and friendly to all of his fellow citizens, but he was also an explorer. He ventured out far from his village all of the time, until one day, he found some place huge. Wait, my Lion Kingdom! This place is beautiful! Argo's happiness quickly got interrupted by a loud roar behind him. Ah! Ah! Wait, what just happened? Was that a vision? Correct. It seems as though each of these rune stones hold the truth of Argo and his goblin's past. This can be how we stop him. The more of these you collect, the more you find out. And the stronger I will become. I will do whatever it takes to stop him and save my people. Good, because I know. Exactly where you can find the next rune stone, the monkey tribe. On day seven, I followed Gore's instructions, venturing deep within the jungle, looking for monkeys? They shouldn't be too far from here. Out of nowhere, I heard rustling coming from the trees above me. Oh no. Just then, a group of monkeys dropped down surrounding me. Uh, hi? A lion in our territory? Attack him, boys! The monkeys all rushed in and began to fight. Hey, cut it out! I shot them with my new diamond roar, which hurt them a lot, but they just kept swarming me in large numbers. All right, all right, stop it! You should have known better than to come here. We will take you to our leader so he can deal with you directly. The monkeys escorted me through the forest until we reached a very weak looking hideout. And on the other end of it was the king monkey himself. On day eight, I was face to face with the king of monkeys. Hello, I was sent here in search of a diamond rune stone. Silence, lion. Can you not see I have other matters to attend to? I looked around and quickly noticed that all of the monkeys here looked very sick and weak. After Argo took down your lion's kingdom, he went for mine next. Thankfully, a few of us were able to escape, but the majority of my people are now gone. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry to hear that. I then looked past the king and saw none other than the second rune stone. Look, I need that. I promise I will use it to help stop Argo. Not without a price. Take a look around. All of my people are sick, and it's because they do not have their sacred bananas that my kingdom held. If you go, sneak into my kingdom, and find a banana plant, I shall trade it for this rune stone. You have yourself a deal. On days 9 to 10, I arrived at the Monkey's Jungle Empire, and it was in complete ruins. There were goblins everywhere, and were clearly taking all of the kingdom's resources. My people! 
Oh no, Argo is here? We have claimed both the lions and the monkeys' empires, but there is still a great threat amongst us, the Diamond Lion. Wait, he knows about me? Find that lion and bring him to me. Our plans cannot stop until we are on top of the species. That's not good. I gotta find that sacred banana plant fast. I use my diamond vision to scout out the patrolling goblins and slowly sneak around them into a ruined building. Once inside, I saw the sacred banana plant sitting on top of a giant dead tree? Uh, okay. Now, just to collect this and get out of here. But surprisingly, as I got close to the plant, it jumped. Ah! <laughs> What the? The plant then started to move its tiny legs and run throughout the kingdom. Wait, get back here. On days 11 to 12, I was chasing the plant throughout the ruins. Our chase led us into a tunnel that went underneath the forest. I was running as fast as I could until I finally began to catch up to him. Just as I thought I was about to catch the plant, he led me straight into a main room where two evil goblins were keeping keeping guard. Oh no. Argo has big plans for you. Get him! Both of the goblins rush into attack as the banana plant ran to cower behind me. I charged in, meeting the goblins head on. Diamond against steel. They might have had the upper hand last time, but this time I had courage and strength. I used my diamond roar ability that hurt both the goblins, which made it easier for my claws to cut them both down. Yes! After dealing with the goblins, the banana plant seemed to calm down and walk up to me. I promise, I don't mean you any harm. Now, come on, little guy. It's time I bring you home. On days 13 to 14, I made it back to the monkey tribe with the banana plant following behind me. Hey, look, I've brought what you asked. Whoa, oh, I totally forgot to mention that our banana plants come to life. Yeah, that would have been nice to know. I never thought I'd see the day a lion would help us out. But a deal's a deal. You may collect your precious rune stone. Thanks. I walked over to the diamond rune stone, and as I got close, it began to activate. I reached out and touched it, causing me to grow even more powerful. I gained five more hearts, and now I could summon diamond shrines up from the earth. Sweet! Because of this, everything started to get blurry as I began to enter another vision. The roar from before sounded off, causing the younger Argo to turn around frightened. But to his surprise, it was a young female lion. <laughs> I scared you. What? No, I, I wasn't scared. <laughs> Both the young lion and Argo began to bond, forming a friendship like no other. But not all people liked that. Wait, my king? This cannot stand. A lion with a goblin? The king's rage grew from within until one evening, Argo and the lion saw smoke coming from the distance. They both ran over, only to see Argo's entire home on fire and under attack. No, no! Ah! I left the vision confused. I need to know more. On days 15 to 16, I knew that the monkey shelter wasn't safe, so I brought the whole tribe back with me to my base. Thank you, Fozo. You have no idea how much this means. Of course. From there, I got enough materials to make them their very own monkey tree to stay in. Right after that, the monkeys began planting more of their banana plants. Here you guys go. I hope you like it. This is amazing! Great job, Fozo. For the first time in history, it seems as though the monkeys are getting along with you lions. Keep it up. That's the plan, Gore. Suddenly, while we were talking, I spotted a figure looking into our base. Hey, what gifts? Ah! The figure quickly ran off, but I wasn't going to let him get away. I chased him outside of the base and into a nearby forest. Get back here. Then, as I was chasing, I got hit by something. Ah, my 
head. My vision was going all fuzzy and I couldn't focus on a thing. I started to pass out. Perfect. That was quick and easy. On days 17 to 18, I woke up on a tall rock. Ah, where am I? Suddenly, I began to see bright flashes of light as I looked down to see people were taking pictures of me. Hey, kitty, kitty, look over here. Look this way, I'm trying to take a picture. Hey, stop that. Ah, I said, stop. Ah, a little kitty is scary now, run. As they scattered, I realized that I was trapped in a zoo. Oh no. Hey, cut it out. You're scared away the customers. You, you put me here. The treasure hunter didn't listen though and just walked away. Hey, get back here. That's right, my gem infused feline. I looked over to see that a penguin was in my enclosure. Who are you? The name's Skipper and I'm here to talk to you, my compadre. That treasure hunter loves capturing us animals so he can make money. And you're telling me this because? Well, me and my three associates have had a little escape plan in the works for a while now and a diamond lion was just the piece we were missing perfect i'll do anything to get out of this place count me in on days 19 to 20 i followed the penguin as he led me under the zoo enclosures to a large operation room whoa how did you build all of this that's none of your concern kowalski analysis i looked up in the room to see three more penguins surrounding a table we are a go on phase one on phase two skipper at a boy private now i'd like you all to meet fozo our answer to phase three whatever it takes to escape this place so i can find more diamond rune stones rune stones skipper isn't that what that treasure hunter guy is after wait what do you guys know where it is is? Whoa, hold your horses. We'll tell you what we know after we escape. Okay, fair enough. I went back to the surface with the penguins, awaiting for the plan to start. Then, in one large explosion, my cage was busted open. Okay, here goes nothing. On days 21 to 23, the penguins and I were running through the panicking crowds at the zoo. <laughs> This way, we planned the perfect route. As we came around the last turn, I saw the exit. But standing there, blocking our path, was a strong-looking security guard. You pests! Get back to your cages! Now! This is where you come in. Take down the guard. What? Ah! The guard ran into attack, and he hit me with his electric weapon. Ow! The shock was so powerful that I felt it starting to slow down my body. I fought back as hard as I could, trying to attack him with my claws. But the guard was strong, and his attacks really started to take their toll on me. I have to get out of here. As he hit me back another time with his weapon, I used the opening to summon my diamond shrine from below, and he was defeated. Phew, that was close. We ran outside the gates of the zoo, and as we got a safe distance away, I turned towards the penguins. Okay, now will you tell me about the next rune stone? Sure, the hunter who captured you always talked about a mining site in the desert nearby. Kowalski's guess is that that's where the rune stone is. Thanks, and hey, if you guys need a place to stay, there's always room at my base. On days 24 to 26, I separated from the penguins and headed in the direction of the mining site. It took me a while, but up ahead, I started to see something big. The goblins! They were building up their large empire right in the middle of the plains. And at the center of all of this was Argo. Work, you lazy cats! Work! I saw that the entire area was filled with lions, and Argo was commanding all of them. This is horrible. My poor people. I then saw a young lion was hiding in some rubble, looking weaker than ever. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back to work. Oh no, I have to help. Hey, Argo. I ran into the empire, standing across from the massive swamp goblin. You. 
finally showing your face. You will regret that. Listen to me. You need to stop this. It isn't right. Isn't right? You don't know the half of it. And you never will. Wait! Argo didn't listen, though, and rushed towards me. He attacked so fast that I couldn't even defend myself. You are trying to save them? Look at you. You're a joke, and you won't be here to see my plan succeed. Knowing I was surely done for, I had to escape. I started to run away, with Argo chasing me. Thankfully, I found a small cave and was able to lose him. Run all you want. In time, you will be finished! On days 27 and 29, I exited the cave and found myself in the desert. Argo is way too strong for me. I have to find the next rune stone. I ventured forward until I saw a massive pyramid that had drills and mining equipment. Yes, this has to be the mining site. I started to move closer, but noticed that the place was crawling with miners. Oh no, I'm gonna have to stay quiet. Stupid miners and their stupid loud machines. What? What was that? I looked over and standing on top of the broken pyramid was a creature wrapped in cloth. Ah, hey, I didn't mean any trouble. I, I just didn't like how loud you guys are being. Hey, it's okay. I'm not one of the miners. I'm here for the diamond runestone. Do you know where it is? Ah, uh, seems like we have a common enemy then. Well, you're in luck. I've been staying at this place for ages. I can show you where to go, but only if you help me. These miners making a ton of noise, and I need a way quieter place to sleep. Deal. Did you have a specific place in mind? Ooh, I think I know just the tomb. On days 30 to 32, I was following the mummy as he lazily led me deep underneath the pyramid. Ah, here's the place. He brought me to a hallway that ended in a tall room where a massive tomb stood against the wall. Whoa. Pretty great, right? Only thing is, there's an evil mummy that won't be too happy I'm taking his bed. Evil mummy? Suddenly, the large tomb burst open and a tall pharaoh arose from his slumber. <laughs> to stop me. Oh no. The pharaoh charged forward and started to attack. He shot me with fire powers that blasted from the floor. But I wasn't going to give in. I started to summon more diamond shrines from the ground. Take that. We continued to fight, but I finally destroyed him with one final diamond roar. As he fell, he dropped a beautiful golden necklace. Wow, you really showed him. Now for some peace and quiet. The mummy walked past me and went into the tomb. Oh, and the diamond roadstone. If you head deep underground, the necklace should help you unlock the room it resides in. I walked over and picked it up. Uh, thanks. On days 33 to 35, I went deeper underneath the pyramid. Now, where is this room he was talking about? I entered a chamber, and across from me stood a giant doorway. It was covered in ancient sandstone with seemingly no way to open. All right, let's hope this works. I held out the pharaoh's necklace as it began to glow a golden light, pushing open the entrance. Awesome! I walked in, only for the room to reveal a very bright glow. Wait, the diamond runestone! I did it! I approached as the runestone activated just as the others, and it absorbed into me. I felt a surge of diamond energy as I grew in size again, causing me to gain five more hearts. Now, I could cause diamond chains to attack and trap my enemies. This is amazing! But before I could leave the room, my mind started to fade into another vision. I entered and saw Argo and the lion watching his village burn in the distance. My home! He charged in and looked around to see that everyone was gone. And at the center of it was the king lion himself. No! No! What are you doing? I will not have someone like you be near my people. You filthy goblins are infecting our lands, and I will put an end to it. Argo looked at the king, betrayed and confused. No! I won't let you! The younger Argo then rushed in and started to fight him. They were hitting each other blow for blow, but then the king unleashed a roar so powerful that a shockwave violently shot out towards Argo. Ah! 
Ah! I came back to my senses as the vision faded. My king, did he really burn down their village? No wonder they hate us. I have to make things right. Just then, I heard a loud noise as a large machine crashed through the wall. You! How did you escape the zoo? <laughs> no matter. The runestone you collected is mine! Oh no! On days 40 to 44, I started to battle with the treasure hunter and his giant machine. He drove it directly towards me as I jumped out of the way. I gotta stay away from it or it's gonna crush me. I tried to attack the treasure hunter, but he was being protected. He then charged at me, causing him to crash into a pillar. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I ran throughout the room, causing him to crash into the remaining three pillars. Once he destroyed the last one, the roof started to cave in. I then used my new diamond chain ability to hold him in place. No, 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 no! I did it! On days 45 to 47, I made it back safely to my base. The long journey gave me time to think about what I needed to do. I need to show Argo and everyone that all lions aren't evil. We can be different than the ones before us. Hey, compadre. I looked up to see the penguins also made it back safely. Hey, guys. You said we could stay here, right? Well, I had Kowalski draw up some plans for you. Show him, Kowalski. Kowalski then threw down to me a page of sketches. I think I can get started on this right away. I spent some time in the base, building them a nice icy home to stay in. Here you guys go. I hope you like it. Bozo, come here, please. Gore? What is it? I walked up to the golem, but he seemed like he was very weak. Uh, what's going on? Bozo, please. It seems my brother is in some sort of danger. Your brother? Yes, for every golem like me has a sibling. They are connected through the earth. My brother is a golem of lava. And through that connection, we feel each other's pain. I feel he's growing weaker by the moment. Please, go and save him. I'll do whatever I can to save you, Gore. Whatever it takes. On days 48 to 50, I followed Gore's directions until I was met with a large entrance that led down deep to a strange looking lava cave. It has to be here. I ventured deep down until I found myself in a large opening. In the center of it was a huge lava golem. But just like Gore said, he was not looking so good. You, are you okay? Diamond's lion. I, I have heard lots about you. No, I'm growing weaker by the second, for I lack my necessary fuel. I then realized that all of the lava that was supposed to be in the room wasn't here. You need your lava back. Uh, precisely. Goblins, they are the ones that took it. For what? Uh, I don't know, but if I don't get it back soon, I will surely be done for. I promise, I will go and help you get it back. On days 51 to 53, I hurried through the cave system looking to find any sign of what the goblins had done to the lava flow. What are you planning this time, Argo? As I approached a large opening in the caves, I saw that the river of lava was being held back by some sort of operation site. I have to get close and see what's going on. Moving closer in, I saw that goblins were using the lava flow to melt down and forge all sorts of weaponry. And watching over all of the workers was none other than Argo. Yes, yes, keep up the work. We need these weapons made now. If that diamond lion is getting stronger, then so will we. Well, we are on it, Commander. We just only built this forge. It's going to take a while. I don't want excuses. I want results. So get it done or else. He stormed away from the forge angrily as the scared goblins went back to work. I guess now is my chance. As the goblins were all focused on the weapons, I snuck into the forge and pulled down on a mechanism that caused the lava river to start flowing again. Bingo. Hey, who did that? You! It's the Diamond Lion! Get him! A ton of the Goblinsmiths then started to run towards me. 
way better run. On days 54 to 56, I was running through the tunnels with the goblins chasing right behind me. I entered back into the main lava room, but to my surprise, all of it was now filled with lava. Yes, the golem noticed the goblins chasing me and shot out a very powerful lava attack directly at them. Whoa, thanks. No, thank you. You saved my life, folks. And for that, I shall grant you this. The golem then threw over a special mini rune stone. Whoa! I know you seek the sacred rune stones, and this mini stone shall take you straight to the next one. Good luck. He what? That diamond lion thinks he's doing what's right? I can't let him win. I can't! Uh, sir, I... Silence! I must prepare for plan B. I will stop him for you. On days 57 to 59, I used the mini runestone as a compass and followed its directions to a large underground civilization. This place is beautiful. The whole city was coated in diamonds that shined like they were in the sunlight. And at the center of it was the fourth diamond runestone. Perfect. But before I could get to it, a few creatures made of diamond came out of their homes. Oh, wow. Aren't you a sight to behold? Yes, we don't get too many visitors here at all. I'm here for that runestone. I needed to stop Argo and his goblins. As I said this, the creatures all just looked at me and <laughs> laughed. <laughs> what a funny joke. Do you not understand how important that runestone is to us? No one who is unworthy can take it. Not even a diamond lion. What can I do to prove I'm worthy? To prove it to you all. Very well, Lion, it's time to put you to the test. On day 60 to 63, I was led by the diamond people to the entrance of a massive diamond maze. If you want to prove yourself worthy, you must find your way to the heart of this maze. If you do that, you will be deemed one with the diamond. Sounds simple enough. Let's do it. I ran in, knowing I couldn't let my people down. I used all of my abilities at my disposal, even my diamond sight, to see a hidden passageway. I then reached a weak-looking wall and used my diamond roar to burst right through it. With that, I was finally able to make it to the center of the maze. I did it! But out of nowhere, I heard a noise behind me. I turned around, only to see that a massive diamond monster was looking over me. Uh-oh. The monster and I charged towards each other as my diamond met his. We started hitting each other and I realized he was extremely strong. His attacks were starting to break me down again and again, but I knew I was just as strong and my diamond abilities were definitely taking their toll on him. I will prove to the diamond people and to everyone who the diamond lion really is. With a final loud diamond roar, I destroyed the monster. He, he did it! The diamond lion is one with the diamond! He is worthy! On days 64 to 68, I rushed back to the center of the diamond civilization to obtain the next runestone. I approached it and picked it up causing my form to grow once again. I gained five more hearts, and now I could call down a huge diamond meteor to slam into my enemies. All right, just one more to go. Then, before I finish that thought, my sight shifted to another vision. Argo and the King Lion were still in his destroyed village. No, please! Suddenly, a figure jumped in front of Argo, being hit by the King's attack instead. What? No! No! Standing there, mortally wounded, was the female lion. Please, forgive us. There, in the burning goblin village, the lion died, and Argo grew sad. You, you caused this! What? I didn't! Enough! Your people are hereby banished from the swamps! Now leave before I kill you where you stand! I watched Argo leave without another word, as the king was left standing in his destroyed 
home. I regained my vision. No, I knew what I had to do. I need to find Argo and try to reason with him. The king was wrong, but that doesn't mean that others should have to pay the price. I have to make things right. On days 69 to 71, I went to the surface as fast as I could and headed back to Argo's empire. When I finally made it there, more buildings were complete and goblins were patrolling the whole area. There on top of a building was Argo. Argo, I've come to talk. Yeah. Look, I'm not here to fight. I came to tell you that I want things to be different for us lions, for all of us. We can change. Change? You lions had their chance, and your king ruined it. I know what happened, and it was wrong, but these people shouldn't pay the price for what our king did. It's too late, the lions, and all the vile creatures of this world will soon know the ruin we knew in the swamplands, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Argo then charged forward, straight towards me. No! I called down my diamond meteor ability, stopping his attack. While he was stunned, I used the opportunity to escape out into the grassy plains. That's right. Run away. Run while you still can. On day 72 to 74, I returned to my base, tired and sad. Bozo. I looked up to see that Gore was back to full strength again. Yes, you're okay. I am, thanks to you. We have some new friends I would like you to meet. Coming from the side of Gore's massive frame was a gross looking rat. They came from the Swampland. And he says he has some information for you. The Swamplands? That's where Argo is from. I see you're a bit on edge, uh, but my people, we need your help. What do you mean? You see, our elder, she has what you're looking for. The final diamond runestone. But in order to get it, you have to help us break the swamp's curse. The swamp has a curse? Fozo, they need you. All right, I don't like this, but I'll help you. Take me to your elder. On days 75 to 77, I followed the swamp rat until we finally reached the edge of the swamps. The whole area was foul smelling and didn't seem like a living soul was in sight. This place is horrible. People live here? Yeah, you can see why those goblins are filled with such hatred. Now, follow me. We pushed into the vile swamp until I saw buildings sunken in the murky dirt. This is your town? Our town. I looked around and saw multiple animals and creatures slowly decaying. And you haven't even seen the worst part. I then looked over to see an elderly goblin was standing there. So you run this place? Yes, child. Now come, we have much to discuss. I walked up the stairs and followed the elder into her hut, where inside was the final diamond runestone. Yes, I was about to walk up to it when the elder stopped me. Wait, don't be so hasty, child. This swamp has been cursed for ages. And that curse has festered and grown into something that can affect this very runestone. It's cursed? Yes, but if you are able to find and wipe out the curse at its source, you will lift its effects on the land, its people, and the runestone. I'll do it. Where do I go? On days 78 to 80, I went deep into the swamplands trying to find the source of the curse. I searched until I came to an area where I saw a giant stony hand reaching out of the swamp and on top of it held a large green orb. This, this has to be it. I have to destroy that. I started to walk forward, but because of this, the orb initiated, summoning green cursed goblins around it. Oh no, I started a fight by summoning diamond shrines to strike down multiple at once. They were weak, but they just kept swarming. I have to break that curse. I used my feline agility to jump around them as I landed right next to the orb. Here goes nothing. I unleashed the most powerful diamond roar that I could, causing the entire orb to explode. 
Yes! This caused a large shockwave to travel throughout the swamp, killing the cursed goblins. I did it! Now, maybe the swamp creatures can live safely. On days 81 to 85, I went back to the swamp town, and I saw that the last diamond runestone was no longer cursed. You did it, Fozo. Thank you. Now please take the runestone. I walked up and touched it, causing it to be absorbed into me. I felt all of my diamond abilities grow in strength. As I grew in size one last time, I gained 10 more hearts, and now I was the strongest I ever was. My vision started to change as I was pulled away. Where am I? I see you found out the truth, young one. I looked up, and standing before me was the king lion. You, why did you hurt those goblins? Why did you do any of it? I was blinded, Fozo. Blinded by arrogance, by ego. I saw one of my own with a goblin. I couldn't help but feel anger. Well, look where that got us. Now Argo, he's pure evil. I have spent many years regretting my actions, wishing I could take that day back. Please, Fozo, do what you can to save those goblins. Right my wrongs. I will, I promise. As my sight became clear again, I was back inside the elder's hut. I looked around outside at all of the poor creatures who lived here and knew what I had to do. On days 86 to 90, I led all the swamp creatures back to my base. I knew that if I wanted to change the lion's past, we had to treat everyone as our people. Welcome to our kingdom. From there, I went out and got enough materials to build all of these new creatures their very own homes. I looked around and could see how happy they have all become. Well done, Diamond Lion. Thanks. Now all that's left is dealing with Argo. He may be too far gone, but that doesn't mean his goblins are. It may be a challenging task, young one. But it's one that I'm gonna have to try. Everyone deserves a second chance. Us lions got one, so will those goblins. I had one final look at my new empire and knew it was time I put an end to all of this. On days 91 to 94, I arrived at Argo's Goblin Empire alone. As I got close, I saw that his grand kingdom was finished completely. I have to find my people. Hey, what was that? Oh no, I ran through the gates, starting to sneak between buildings to hide from all the goblins. They were everywhere, and I knew I couldn't get caught. I continued to move through Argo's empire until I saw a large area lined with cages of the lions. Please, we need food and water. Argo won't allow it. Now's my chance. Diamond Lion, what are you doing? Saving you all. Now stand back. I focused my powers and let out a powerful diamond roar. My attack completely shattered the front of the cages. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Fozo. Of course. Now, let's get out of here. The lions and I tried escaping, but unfortunately, all of the goblins were right there waiting for us. On days 95 to 99, we were face to face with the whole goblin army. You are trying to escape? Never! The goblins were about to push in to attack. Wait! Everyone stopped at my words. I know that us lions were not kind to you guys in the past. And what we did, it was horrible. But I want to prove to all of you guys that we can change. I know for years now that you have been driven by nothing but rage. But look around. You aren't just hurting us. You're hurting innocent creatures who are losing their homes. They're people. Does that sound familiar? We're doing what's right. You are doing exactly what happened to you in the past. Join me, guys, and together we can create a better future for everyone. He is right. Yeah, we need to stop this. Excuse me. Out of nowhere, Argo slammed down into the ground in a rage. What is going on here? Every one of you stupid goblins, kill them. It's too late, Argo. Now stop this. I 
will destroy you all! On day 100, Argo started his reign upon all of us. He was a lot stronger now and killed any lion or goblin with complete ease. Argo, stop this! Never! I won't stop until all of you are gone! I will start my new empire over your ashes! No! I fought Argo back using all of my new diamond abilities I have acquired throughout my adventures. You didn't deserve what happened to you. We can change this. No! He slammed down really hard and took away most of my hearts. But deep down, I knew that I couldn't give up. I hit him back harder and harder and let out the loudest diamond roar I ever had. Because of this, Argo grew weak and was defeated. No! No! I'm sorry, Argo. I tried. Now it's a new time for all of us animals to get along.